Hello, hello guys and gals. Or none, or neither. Welcome back to our season three. This is Shanath the Dunder Poet Gaming, aka Movie S for 91. Welcome back to Let's Play Starfield. I don't know um, how long I'm going to play this, or if I'm going to play it for a extended period of time. Because um, I've had a long day, and it's almost 10 o'clock at night. But I might still play this for a couple hours. And then, um, I'm going to go watch some YouTube so I can relax. I just got done eating dinner. And some chicken nuggets and some fries. I had some of this uh, mixture of uh, buffalo wing sauce and uh, honey mustard with my, with my nuggies. It was really, really good. A little spicy, but not, not nothing to really knock me on my ass. But, just enough for a kick. <coughs> Honestly, I forgot what the bell I was doing. I forgot mean, yeah, what I was doing. I think I was going through the side quests. Um, I got the Ryujin Industries done. I got the M side Striker quest done. Um, I, I could go on to the main story if I wanted to. Well, I could just call quits right now and say, hey, I'm not feeling it. I can go watch some videos and just relax. It all depends. I don't know. It depends what I feel like doing. Right now, I guess I'm talking to Sarah Morgan. Oh, that's right. I was heading towards the lodge so I could talk to Sarah Barrett and someone and uh, Sam, I believe. And I was trying to figure out how the fuck to get there. You got this fucking like brass for me on my arm now. It wasn't there until I tripped and fell on those tarpids. Oh, no, no, edge it. Oh, damn it. <coughs> Captain, hello. I am so fast, satisfied yeah. to see that you survived. Really? I can't get up the ladder now? Tricky decisions regarding Ryujin must have been difficult. In fact, I'm amazed you were able to deal with them at all. Those types of corporations remind me why I never ventured into business. I can't stand that way of life. Not all corporations are as moral as we make them out to be. It's understandable and everyone's caught up in the business world. I couldn't agree more, it's disgusting. Really? It surprises me you'd say that. Take what Ryujin's doing, for example. Based on your recommendation, they'll be continuing their work on the NeuroAmp technology. And now you're going to stand there and pretend you find that type of decision to be disgusting. Please. NeuroAmp technology provides a non-lethal way to stop your enemy. That technology would keep Ryujin employees job secure. I can't argue that point. But imagine that technology in the wrong hands. Imagine the awful things you could force people to do. It's almost too horrible to contemplate. In my mind, the good always the bad. <coughs> I haven't thought of it that way. 
I suppose I can't completely blame you for that. I'm sure they dazzled you with its advantages. Perhaps next time you'll consider the consequences before buying into that corporate rubbish. Okay. Now let's talk to Sam. He should be here somewhere. Chorus here. Sam's gotta be somewhere nearby. Yeah, the way you handle things, not bad, not bad. Of all the places in the galaxy, only Neon can make me feel so damn oily. And you dealt with this absolute worst. Ryujin, Infinity LTD, all of it. You doing all right? That was a lot. I don't think I could have taken much more. Well, it just makes you human. Uh, how come no matter how advanced society gets, we still just can't help coming up with new horrors to inflict on ourselves. Mechs, Xeno Warfare, and now this Neuroamp tech. I swear, it's the worst yet. And you just let them keep working on it. <laughs> Scientific progress marches on no matter what we do. Well, that's a cheery thought. It's true, but... <sighs> with a piece of work like Ryujin, I know there isn't a good person to put in charge. I mean, I guess Masako's better than Ularu Chen, but you just know if violence or being just plain evil was the path of least resistance, then Masako would pick it same as Ularu. Uh, as horrible as Masako is, she's the least bad choice. <sighs> you're right. I know you're right. Well, the whole damned affair is over. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, I'm still trying to get materials for that. Don't care about that. I'm actually gonna, um... Did I, like... Just, like, say no to this quest? We have to go to New Atlanta, so I think we're already here. You can buy just about anything in New Atlanta. You know where to look. Good day, Captain. What's up, Asco? Wee. Oh, you know what? I know why why that thing burns. I remember I burned myself on the uh, <coughs> on a um, air fryer. That's why it fucking burns. I thought it was a rash, but I forgot I burnt myself. Why are the free star flat to bark high code? Okay. So I figure I'll play it till like 12. Then I'll get off, watch some YouTube for a couple hours. Probably some bash. 12, 34, 9. Give my pup some time up in my, uh, my room with me. I wonder why the hell it was burning. I thought I got a rash or something from, from something, but I forgot that I, I touched the, uh, the air fryer. When I was making my fries, I accidentally touched it, my arm burnt it. It's, it's like when someone insults you, you want to just beat the shit out of them sometimes, but you don't. Well, not quite what I was thinking, but that's actually a great example, Marcus. 
The man in the story was cruel. Do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels. Understand his pain. Accept mm -hmm. it. And deliver it not back mm -hmm. upon him. Empathy. You mean empathy. <laughs> but you say it like it's easy. Like anyone can... Just... Love a terrible person who has been terrible to them. Yeah. Why even bother? I mean, isn't the cycle of humanity, peace and war, back and forth, like forever? Seems kind of pointless to try so hard for something that won't last. Nothing ever really changes. That's well, not easy, no. But necessary. Because you see, everything has changed. God has given us the intelligence, the ingenuity to reach into the stars. Yep. Mm -hmm. To travel mm -hmm. his path. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To truly find him. But we can't do it alone. The only way is through... Amen, brother. Oh, shit. Huh. Yes, <laughs> Andreas. Yes. Unity. Well, I'm sure you all have other things to do. Thank you for taking the time to stop and talk with me. There are so many mysteries in the universe, so many unknowns that I try to help out others whenever I get the chance. I had this graph jump once, and I don't know, I felt something. What the fucking got on my bitch? What are you doing? Sanctum Universal. Let's try this place out. Can I enter, please? Oh, I guess not. I mean, never mind. Never mind. I was just, I was gonna try to enter there and see what's going on, but I guess not. You are a visitor. You'll find the ambassador in her. That's cool. Thank you for the heads up, my dude. Is there anything worth stealing? Hell no. Visitors are only allowed in the lobby, offices, or conference room. Hey, you doing the stuff in my dad? You ever thought about that, bitch? Terrible. Visitors are only allowed here, here, and here. All that security, and they still can't protect their own spaceport. The UC never fails to disappoint. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Interesting pants, sir. Oh, the shirt. I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? I'm here on behalf of the United Colonies. We need the Free Star Collective's help. Captain Shanantha, UC Vanguard, you and I need to talk, Ambassador. Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my Dude. thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy. In order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. You heard right, they need access to the archives. Hmm. I was afraid of that. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours and go? No, I don't think so. Please, Ambassador, just listen to what I have to You're say. Really gonna push this? All right, I will give you one chance, one to convince me. Understood. Thank you, Ambassador. Hear me out. Oh dear God! Oh my God! Okay. Um. Oh Lord! Something good can come out of this bad situation. You see a free star collector cooperating. Oh yes. Shit. This band research is precisely what the factions need to kickstart their relationship. Let's breed a bioweapon together. 
I know every time I didn't need to do what's right. I could be the hero here. The Terra Mora Xenobiopus project was a failure. That knowledge is dangerous. You know that for sure. That is interesting. Well, Captain, you you make some good points. But if I'm really granting you access, I'm gonna need the following concessions. Your access will be limited. You can only take out the items related to stopping these terramorphs. The monitors will make sure of it. Okay. You go in once. You get everything you need on your trip, and never again. And all research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being used to save the galaxy, the galaxy needs to be involved in the oversight. I mean, three star scientists will watch your people like hawks. So, do we have an agreement? Absolutely not. I'm going to pillage everything. Okay, I agree. Excellent. Follow me. I'm thinking about replacing Heller back with Sam Cole for a bit. Or maybe Barrett. Have Barrett follow me for a little while. You all wear a Black Mountain Coachman? You guys got guns on him, that's why I might know. You know, protection and whatnot. They tell me it should only take a moment. And there. Here, I'll reach out to Deputy Mac. We'll coordinate the necessary oversights. To unlikely allies, okay. I guess. Alrighty. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I could have snuck my way in there, okay. If I wanted to, I could have found a way into the vent and snuck my way in. That would have been substantially harder, though. I watched the Pope's Exorcist last night. Pretty decent movie. I give it about eight and a half out of ten. And then I watched the old school Casper movie from 1995. Good movie. Classic. Even just the sound of his voice is. Oh shit! We need a uh, house for runes approval code now. I forgot. We need approval codes from all these people. We gotta quit save before we do any of this uh, um, persuading and shit. House Bruin Embassy. Interesting. What the hell happened here? Follow. Do you see the other jumpsuit? Oh, right, it's interesting. That current user is good. An interesting uh, serpent uh, statues.
the hell happened here? Don't I have a thing that's good against robots? The hell is it called again? Explosive refined Grendel. Is it a street sweeper? I don't think it's a street sweeper. I, I have a weapon that's good against robots. Disassembler, that's what it was. I mean, that just scared the shit out of me, like, no joke. What bullets is this gun take now? 11 millimeters, okay. Do I have anything else to take 11 millimeters right now? The Tempest. Okay, so the Tempest and the, um, the drum beat. Does the Tempest do more damage? 25 damage. Well, let's, let's give it a shot. Let's see if the Tempest is better than the uh, drum beat. I figure it's better off saving my explosives for, uh, for, um, like, you know, har harder people to kill. Like bosses and whatnot. I've become surprisingly good at this. I've become surprisingly good at, um, or adept at hacking. Every time I see those fucking mannequins, they scare the shit out of me. Well, they don't scare the shit out of me, but... Oh, so they're protecting me now. Okay. So you probably put the gun away. Apparently the turret is still attacking me. Eat that a bitch. Jump clutch is a pretty good thing to have. Robots are attacking me now? I wonder why. This is supposed to be really good against robots, so I might as well use this. 
it does extra damage against them, so we might as well use it. What other, what other times are we going to be able to have something that's good against robots? Well, I mean, a, a, a reason to use a gun that's good against robots, I should say. Can't see it. Yeah. Might be helpful to get my uh Oh, okay, well I don't I'm not wearing a hat right now apparently. There we go. I got a pick a lock apparently. The hell is all this gas is leaking everywhere? Hmm. I'm picking lots I know tomorrow, huh? Remove combat inhibitors. Okay. This is kind of weird. Beware of demons, he says. Hey, right, well, I guess we're going to the basement. That sounds fun, doesn't it? All right, to the basement we go. He had a lot of shit on him. Let's eliminate, huh?
chat. I leveled up apparently. <coughs> I need, um, hmm. Do I want to increase my shotgun damage? Yeah, I haven't killed enough people with my pistol to be able to level that up. Ballistic weapons have 30% increased damage and recharge 30% faster. I really don't care for that right now. Increasing maximum health by 20%. Yeah, I'm not having an issue with my health right now, that's a problem. I think I might kill some more people level up my uh, rifle certification. So, what seems punishment becomes providence. A reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. Okie dokie. Put the gun away. Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a... Grand mm -hmm. tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect like your eyes. the venom tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? <laughs> Tell me though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack. Uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then. Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? The space force is in rough shape, but not much else was damaged. Did you just say that thing is pouring out clouds upstairs to call it venom trees and poisonous? Harmless spores, you have my word, but uh, hard to navigate. Hence why I was guiding you through the intercoms to restore the environmental controls. <laughs> and release me. It is the sap of the tree that gives it its... Well, <laughs> perhaps not a topic for this exact moment. But I must know of the rest of the city. Does it still stand? The space force is in rough shape and not much else was damaged. Uh, said right, huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door? Hmm? And the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Uh, ah, an archive code. So the UC requires information, then. On terror morphs, presumably. Hmm. Do I see this all clearly? Indeed. Right, we're going to use the data to, uh, in the archives to better understand and stop these attacks. Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks, there is logic there. But if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. 
For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. Trust me, I'm not doing an evil playthrough, so you're good. Knowledge can't be evil. What about the knowledge of gunpowder? You have my word, I'll make sure it is for good. Well then, I shall not fear. Please, follow me. Let's hope it still works. I get the feeling we don't need all this stuff, boss. Disassembler. Calibrated run be 40 damage. This does uh, 40 damage. Ten damage, one sixty fire rate. That just is way better. Hey, you need something? Yeah, I don't mind carrying a few more things. Alright, um... Alright, bye for now. Alrighty, so we got that. Dr. Garson's considered the only where the mill tray is. Take videotape, huh? Okay. Return to Debbie McIntyre. Yeah, I got a deputy magnetire, wherever the hell she is. I've got something with your name on it, boss. Okay. Be right back, guys.
Alrighty, I am back. And he has something for me, Anything apparently. For I've had this on deck for a while now. Thank you. Hey, well, before we do that, I want to see a Barrett in here. Let's get out there and do something new today, shall we? Neon. You'd think it would be peaceful with all those calm waters and beautiful sunsets. But I can't think of any town that's more stressful. Reusion. Infinity LTD. And there you were, navigating corporate bureaucracy like a professional. It's easy to handle when I don't need the money. I'm just glad it's not. I couldn't take much I more. I hear you. Look, I know Neon is going to be Neon, no matter what any of us do about it. But you just let them keep working on that neural amp tech? Really? It's science. You of all people should appreciate that. That's true. Oh, don't you dare. Science is a method, a tool for understanding why things are the way they are. All right, hold on. Let's reload that. Redini. Kill. Hey, go. Hi. I love you. I you. Yes? Neon. But I can't think of any. And there you were. I hear you. Look, I know. But you just. That's grotesque, I agree. Had a chance to rethink your actions since then, I hope. I'm sure you they did. tried to tell you all the ways it could help people. Stopping enemies before they can do harm. Maybe even helping people with neural damage, right? But you know it won't be like that. Not really. But if the bottom line is money, then this isn't going to benefit them. It'll be used to dominate them. Uh, it's not stopping this means. I didn't think about it like that. Of course not. This is their business. Convincing people to take risks that aren't in their best interest. I know you were hoping for the best, but they knew that and used it against you. I just hope somebody within their own ranks is able to derail it now. Anyway, not that I care a ton about the internal politics of some ethically dubious megacorp, but... So, Masako, huh? I mean, between her and Ularu Chen, I get it, but you don't trust her, do you? I didn't trust any of them. Well, I trust you, and I'm glad the choice was yours and not mine. Anyway, you didn't happen to pick up any investment tips while you were in there. Just kidding. I don't even want to know. Yeah, a lot of them are disappointed about me um, agreeing with that. You ready to head back out? Okay, let's go. I'll bring my winning smile and charming personality. Do you want to pack some snacks? Absolutely. Stay safe out there. Take it from me. You never know where pirates might pop up. No, don't fucking leave. I need... I need my materials off you, asshole. You're still walking around with my fucking um, supplies. Bib, you're up here and you jump down. That's your fault. Tell her, don't walk oh, away from me. Oh yeah, I make a pretty good. Uh, you can keep the knife. Uh, you can keep that. You can keep that. Let me take your resources. There. Okay. See you later. Barrett, I need to talk to you. Enjoy. Well, thank thank you. I had almost forgotten I picked it up for you. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. Definitely, I appreciate it, Barrett. I got some ideas. I bet you do. And if not, well, 
You can always try to sell it. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. Hmm? All right. Let's trade your... You might have some room if you need... You have 135 stuff to carry, so I'm going to give you... Actually, no. I'm actually going to put all this shit on my ship. Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? Yes. Oh, okay, never mind. Always a... Okay. Right. Alright, so let's go talk to McIntyre, I guess. Yeah, I didn't think any of them were gonna like the idea that I, I okayed the neuro ramp and all that. I need to actually be on my ship to store all that shit, don't I? Well, let me uh, give him my resources at least. Not a problem. At least give him my resources, so I'm not like over encumbered. There. Well, that's all I have. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think they were going to like any of that, the old Nero ramp situation. Reload that real quick. Put that away. Whee! So I gotta talk to McIntyre, I think your name was. Reba McIntyre. Wait, hold on. Where, where the hell am I going? Well, I think I got all the approval codes. Ow. By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Yes? Captain, you're back sooner than... Oh, oh wait. Did... Did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe? And Balmore. We're all in agreement. Code pieces from House Baroon and Freeze are collected and ready to be deployed. Balmore's alive, thanks to you truly. Yes, I got his code. So the old man was still lurking around in there. Fine work, Captain. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there, all right? All right, I'll try not to tear ass while I'm down there. You have my word. I won't get too excited and just all over their, their equipment. Yes? What? It's a little easier navigating for this person here.
Commander Tawalda's office. Yes? You needed something? God, it's far away. war to an end. So the two parties came together to negotiate the terms of the armistice. Fleet sizes would be capped. No, oh, that's simple. So they wouldn't give you access to any other information. down here. Be down to a full blown what do you call it? Dramatic baby? No we bore. Hey baby. You bore? Yeah. Bah. Bah. You calm yourself baby. You calm yourself baby. Don't be so dramatic, no whip. No whip or no bip. Okay. No. Hey. No whip or. There you are, Captain. Deputy told me what went down. Impressive work, Captain. If you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. Time for us to start getting some real answers and figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready. Major, you may take possession of the Terramorf data. I made someone a promise, Hadrian. Can you ensure this will be used for good? I... Yes. It will be. 
Percival and I have done our damage. This... This is us starting to put some things right. So, with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. No the bad. Red Devil's headquarters on bad Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Though, it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important uh, witch is... Christina, what are you whining about? Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. Why are you whining, Jesse? What? You want my attention? Is that your problem? You want daddy time? You're getting jelly. You're getting jelly in the belly. You're getting, you're getting time with me and you're not getting daddy time. Hmm? Is that your problem? You're getting so jelly. You're like, give me daddy time. I love you. Let me set up. Okay. So apparently I'm getting my citizenship now. That's pretty cool. Wee dee 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 dee. Come up here. <clears throat> What? Oh, uh, sorry, just a terrible attack. I'm unlucky to still be here. You're lucky I'm still listening to you. Ridini. I'll be doing all the way up here. All right, Captain. Are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? I'm ready. Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain. Through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Absolutely. Sure, whatever. I Evan, will. Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelian Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, Yay. the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a sensitive position. Normally, okay. we wouldn't even consider something like this, but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs, and they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? Absolutely. I'll take you to my grave. Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. Okay. So I can buy property now. That's cool. Um... Is there any activities I could do to, uh... Yeah, okay. Speed 2 Zora at Affiliate Realty Office. Okay. I have this side quest here, but I want to buy some property real quick. Because I think I have the credits to do it. Depending on how fucking expensive they are. The Devils, you know. I'm always 
always ready to make a deal. Welcome to Feeling Realty. I'm Zora, and I'm here to help with whatever you may need. What brings you in today? Looking to settle down, or move up in the world, or just window shopping? Let's see. I'd like to find some place to live in Atlantis. Mm, I don't blame you. It's a lovely city. The crown jewel of the UC. I'm here if you have any more questions, or if you'd like to look at properties. I'd like, I'd like to hear about, um, like, about what you have for well, sale. first of all, let me just say congratulations on becoming a United Colony citizen. Let's see what we have available. Right now, I've got a little place in the well that's up for grabs. Need some work, and the location is less than ideal, but it's a foot in the door, so to speak. I have a penthouse apartment in one of the residential towers. Ugh, I forgot. Government has dibs on that one. Uh, well, if it comes back on the market, I'll let you know. Sound like something you're interested in? I don't want to buy an apartment in the well. I might right. not. It's very cozy. I'm sure you'll love it. I'll just process the transaction and make sure ownership is transferred. And the apartment is all yours. Congratulations. Hmm. How many properties outside New Atlantis? Oh, don't I wish. Between UC regulations and demand here in the city, I haven't had a chance to branch out yet. But you best believe I'm keeping an eye on the situation and actively lobbying for a little more leeway. I'm always okay. here if you're looking for a new home. Wait, can I buy a new home from you or? Let's see what we have. I have a penthouse apartment in one of the residential towers. Okay. Stop by anytime. All right, so busy at home on the well. I can't believe I bought a fucking home in the well. I have been better off buying that house up at the, the other city I had there. Living in the fucking well. After all this fucking time I spent becoming a UC citizen and I'm living in the well. Ain't that a bitch. Well, like she said, it's a proverbial foot in the door. That's it, it's emptier than shit, too. Like, I had to buy all the furnishings and shit. That's not what I wanted, but alright. Can I steal from this? Is there anyone here that's gonna get pissed off if I do this? I didn't see the mind that I sold that money. I'm going this way. So we got a decent little apartment, but we uh, we have no bed, like no furnishings, no nothing. We got building material from the from the ship.
Why do I have credits in there? That's weird. So we have building materials. Kinda of blew a lot of money on that, but it's just alright. <coughs> it's kind of a shit apartment, but hey, it's my shit apartment. I had to buy furnishings for it, I don't know how the hell to do that. Speaking of which, how the hell do you do that? Find a furniture panel on the wall of a property you own and interact with it. Okay, so there's a, a place in my wall that I can... There's a place in my wall I can, I can access. Um, apparently in my apartment that I can um, use to furnish my apartment. Now I know how to get there, I just gotta get to the well. Um, go past the med bay to the right. Go up the stairs. Take your right. Go up these stairs. And then my apartment is directly straight ahead. Oh shit, okay. Big ass cabinet. Oh, Sarah's commitment goes.
and Kurt. Desk monitor, coffee maker, portable stove top, sink toilet. We already have a toilet, we don't really need that. Okay. Okay, hold on one second, my dude.
I just wanted to say thanks for the daring rescue back there. I had plans for Matsura, of course, but I appreciate the backup. Welcome, I'm glad to have a fellow constellation member. That's a big deal, don't worry about it. Well, it left a lasting impression on me, I suppose. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. That's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. Glad to be part of a team. Uh, just wait till we get matching shirts and start having official cookie days. I do like cookies. One of humanity's greatest achievements. Modern medicine, space travel, and cookies. Constellation is quite pro-cookie. Because, you see, we value human accomplishments. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. Thank you, Barrett. How you... Thank you, Barrett. I figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know, being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him, I suppose. Who's Irvin? Irvin Madani was my husband. He was also a brilliant biologist. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I literally have to go back to redecorate. I don't care if you just like or not. A couple of years before me. Yeah, so he's gone now. I remember his bright smiles when I returned from my trips. <laughs> wow, more brilliant than any star. Everybody saw somebody. I hope I'm not sure you have any bad memories. What was Urban like? It's kind of you to ask. People used to say that we were polar opposites. He was quiet and shy, they said. But that wasn't true. It was just that way around everyone else. What happened to Irvin? He was caught in the crossfire between the UC and the Free Star Collective. It was right after he finished the job on Gagarin. Some terrible job, I don't know. I hope I'm not sure I have any bad memories. It's not you, Captain. It's just been on my mind. I can't say why. Irvin's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories are. If you want to talk about him, I'm here for you. Oh, I've been giving myself nothing but space and time for years. Maybe it's time for me to really think about it. Maybe I'll take you up on that offer later on, Captain. I need some time to think about things. On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. Well, at least we counterbalance the dislike. Lay it on me. What's on your mind? If you don't mind, I'd like to talk about it's Urban. A difficult topic. For years, I pretended like I was over it, but I'm not. I can't guarantee I can answer everything, but I want to try. Did you ever work for Constellation also? Yes, he was one of the first people I met when I moved into the lodge. His room used to be full of plants. The humidity was hard to get used to. Can you tell me a bit about Urban? Urban Madani was my husband. He was also a brilliant biologist who joined Constellation a couple of years before me. Yeah, so he's gone now. <laughs> I... Thanks for talking Thanks to me. Thanks for listening. 
Did you have any other personal questions, or was that it? That's it. Let me know if there's any. Okay. All right. So we furnished our home. I should probably sleep in my bed real quick and give some at, at speed boost. Give myself like 10 hours of sleep. Get a good, decent sleep. I say 10 hours is decent. I usually get seven to eight hours, I mean, work night. Depending on how many times I wake up and use the bathroom and all that, and how long it takes me to go back off. You feel fully well rested. I do miss the HP boost I got from uh, sleeping with uh, Sarah, though. Do we have a trade authority around here I can sell it to? By the way, Cap, Sergeant Yumi. I don't know. I don't really remember where Sergeant Yumi is. I know he's security. I just can't remember where the hell he is. Oh shit, my game's about to freeze. Anytime my game lags like that, it's just shit out of me. They just get a freeze. Alright, we're good. We're good. Thank God. Let's actually do a manual save though. Been a minute since we did a manual save. Health and Human Services, Defense Research, Central Command, Nat, Vanguard Pilot, Vanguard Orientation Hall, Subsection 7. I, I don't remember what the hell the security place is. Apparently I'm allowed in here, so hopefully that's the case. A place like this had to exist. I just never thought I'd actually be in it. Well, I'm glad to bring you along, Barrett. Go first person now, we're actually exploring. Oh shit, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be opening those. I don't think I can open those. Oh my god, I can. Okay. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be taking those. Hey, Jesse. Baby, you didn't want up here a second ago. Why are you up here now? Baby, no. Oh, you got you pulling on my hair. Ow, 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 ow. You're pulling on my hair. Thank you. Babe, stop growling. It's not doing anything but sitting up here. Baby, stop it. Bibber.
that was a point of picking his life. Why, no, why did you come up here and piss off Ever just to fucking climb back off? What's the point of coming in here? Oh, do you not care that I'm breaking into your fucking areas here? Inaccessible. Expert. Oh shit, she's blocking me. Logging authorized entry. Unsealing access. You may proceed down the corridor. But there are no Thank additional you. visitors permitted. Your friend's gonna have to wait out here. What? No magazines? Well, who's down for some small talk? Looks like we've got a volunteer here. Howdy, soldier. Wanna compare war stories? Hmm. Sorry about that, Bear. I'll be as quick as possible. Welcome, Captain. Please come down and approach the intercom. You and I should chat. Why am I getting some Hannibal Lecter vibes off that guy? This has silence and lamps written all over it. Oh, jeez, my batteries are low. Of course they are. You just see Silence of the Lambs all over this, right? I mean, if you've seen Silence of the Lambs, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. With, um, Hannibal Lecter and Clarice. Hello, Clarice. Tell me about the lambs, Clarice. Don't tell me you don't fucking remember that. You can't tell me that's not giving you those vibes. Alright. Hey, what do you want home, dude? President Abeo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. Quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get. Which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? Uh <sighs> Oh Given the amount of security, I say you're someone pretty important or dangerous. Perceptive. I like that. I'm Francois Sanon. Nice name. I know that's Hadrian's last name. Did you see a fate to death then? One final act of rebellion by the leadership that lost the colony war. The trial was authentic. I faced tribunal with dignity. But my execution... staged. A lethal injection that was anything but. The cabinet at the time, long gone now, wished to keep me on as an advisor. And considering the other option, I was in no place to refuse. So I elected to trade my freedom for my continued existence. But such is the life of a soldier. 
Wow. That's Hadrian's last name. Very astute. That's my daughter. My progeny. You've been working alongside. Has she shared with you the nature of our little family? You told me she's your clone, yes. Major and I are doing fine on our own. Every day I get a chance to work for Mad Living and I first change. Can you tell me more, more about the cloning program? It was an attempt by the United Colonies to solidify its own legacy. Forging a new generation of great leaders. They were raised by adoptive families made up of scholars and tacticians. Trained at the United Colonies' greatest scientific and military academies. Displayed incredible promise. But by the time the colony war came to a close, there was only Hadrian. But that's ancient history now. You have much more pressing matters at hand with which I can help. Fine, I'm listening. After some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams. Helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are. No. But in exchange, I need something dealt with. God. My fucking air is knotted to hell. You track down war criminals? People like you? How's that work exactly? How about I rest and turn him over to you, see? Well, I'm not gonna say that. Good. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Wolf system. There is a star station in the vicinity. The Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man. Speak to the deputy mag attire. God's sake! Indeed! 
Yeah, you're in my face. I love you, but I can't see. Kill. No. No, we. Why are you diving into my beard? Why are you diving into my beard? No. 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 We. We. I love you. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Thinking of something else. Uh, yes, Cap. Right with you. All right. I need to talk to um. Home girl. Where the hell is home girl? Red D D D. Home girl. Red D D D. I love D D D D. Said no. That was not an invite going to my face. No. Red D. Oh. I love you. <laughs> You're being such a weirdo, and I love you for that. Ma'am, I need to talk to you. Captain, did your uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. There's an executed work room in your basement. I don't see what the big deal is. Oh, Debbie was not prepared for that. Surprised me too when I learned it. But the uh, prisoner has proven useful over the years. And kept far from any major decision making. But I do think it's worth re-emphasizing. No one else can know about this. Alright? I'll keep it to myself. Good. Because bringing this up to the outside world would create the unfair appearance, Captain, that you're unhinged. And that's not a good look for any of us. Now, was there something in particular you needed to discuss about what we were just discussing? The prisoner asked me to deal with the Dr. Orlais. Figured you and I should discuss. Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question. But bringing him to justice, he's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. What's being offered in return? The location of Hadrian's old research team members. Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. I will do my now, damnedest. Is there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? Hmm. I'm supposed to head to the den. Anything you tell me about it? The den? It's a star station. Orbiting Wolf. The second star station actually to bear that title. The first one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. The place has always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But... Because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Hey, what are the chances of being lured into a trap? Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake. But I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed. Didn't have anything else to discuss. Then I'll bid you good day, Captain. And remind you of the importance of discretion. Okay. So our mission is speech to Captain Marquez. And I'm probably gonna call it because it's like twelve o'clock in the morning. Um I mean, I could, I could play some more, but I could also record tomorrow, too, because tomorrow is supposed to be raining, and I might be inside, so... Plus, I got a few days off coming up, so I could play more than two. When I get out tomorrow, I gotta focus on my, uh... 
my assignment and mopping and all that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like, comment, subscribe on Shenanza Dungeon Food Gaming on YouTube, or give me a follow here on Twitch at MovieExpert91. And or do neither, or do both. It's entirely up to you guys, girls, or, or non-binary people. Until then, y'all have a good day and or night.